in high definition. This is KCAL 9 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Our top story on KCAL 9 News at noon today, a shocking and some people say courageous announcement from actress Angelina Jolie. The actress reveals that she just had a double mastectomy, even though she has not been diagnosed with breast cancer. KCAL 9's Amber Lee live in Beverly Hills right now. She's just outside the medical center where the actress had the surgery. Amber. Sandra, we're here out in front of the Pink Lotus Breast Center in Beverly Hills, as you've mentioned. We're waiting for this 1 p.m. news conference to hear from the surgeon who operated on Angelina Jolie for her double mastectomy, a procedure she went public about in today's New York Times. I think it's courageous. I think it's personally courageous. Someone that big to do something so big. Uh, is really impactful. Academy Award winning actress Angelina Jolie has once again captivated the public, this time announcing she had a double mastectomy in today's New York Times op ed section. She wrote, quote, My doctors estimated that I had an 87% risk of breast cancer and a 50% risk of ovarian cancer. Jolie wrote about the intimate details regarding her three month medical procedure at the Pink Lotus Breast Center in Beverly Hills. She says through gene testing, doctors discovered she had a faulty gene that increased the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. She says she decided to be proactive and have the mastectomy to lower her chances of developing breast cancer in the future to less than 5%. Jolie's mother battled cancer for nearly 10 years before she died at the age of 56. This is empowering other people, other women, to be able to understand that they're not alone. Beverly Hills breast surgeon Dr. Stuart Linder says Jolie's announcement is a big one, and now he hopes more women consider getting gene tested. Anytime somebody who's a celebrity, such as Angelina Jolie, in that status, goes out and discusses a very personal issue, such as having had mastectomy surgery, and an issue such as the BRCA gene mutation, this is amazingly priceless information for women worldwide. The actress wrote, quote, I chose not to keep my story private because there are many women who do not know they might be living under the shadow of cancer. Jolie says she opted for the surgery for her kids. She also wrote, I can tell my children that they don't need to fear they will lose me to breast cancer. A powerful message her fans say is encouraging to other women. I, I think it would help uh, other people to see, okay, she did that, and I can do that too. Jolie, who played the video game heroine Laura Croft in the movies, is now a real life heroine for women everywhere. I think she is now the poster child. I mean, here she is, this beautiful, glamorous, very sexy woman, um, and she remains that, and she'll remain that longer. <laughs> Angelina Jolie's picture can already be seen on the Pink Lotus Breast Center website where behind the scenes story details about the actress's mastectomy will be posted on their blog soon. Now back out here live, as you can see, we are waiting for this news conference that is set at 1 p.m. to hear from the surgeon that operated on Jolie. In Beverly Hills, Amber Lee, KCAL 9 News. All right, Amber, thank you for that. Jolie's partner, actor Brad Pitt, speaking out today as well. He told the London Evening Standard newspaper, quote, Having witnessed this decision firsthand, I find Angie's choice, as well as so many others like her, absolutely heroic. I thank our medical team for their care and focus. All I want is for her to have a long and healthy life with myself and our children. This is a happy day for our family. Singer and breast cancer survivor Cheryl Crow tweeted, quote, I commend Angelina Jolie for her courage and thoughtfulness in sharing her story today regarding her mastectomy. So brave. Well, the gene that Angelina Jolie was tested for is called BRCA. It is an inherited mutation. Doctors say women who have it are about five times more likely to develop breast cancer. And the gene also increases a woman's risk for ovarian cancer. So some women with that gene now are choosing to have their breast and their ovaries removed. The gene was also at the center of a Supreme Court case earlier this year. A company that makes a BRCA test tried to patent the gene itself. No ruling yet has been issued.